Hello and welcome to this week's Friday video. This one's going to be for Chapter 1's assignment. Um, chapter 1's assignment's rather straightforward, pretty easy. Um, there's five questions, and I really had a hard time figuring out which of the five you all would have most problems with, so I'll just go ahead and do number one. Simply because knowing the difference between the quantitative and qualitative variables is extremely important as we move forward in this course and as you move forward in life. Um, quantitative or numeric variables are variables that have numbers attached to them where those numbers have a definite meaning um, in terms of a measurement. Um, contrast that with qualitative or categorical variables where usually it's a name that is attached to it instead of a number. And if there is a number attached, then that number is just treated as a name. Um, for instance, um, number one, the dollar amount, well, right there, the word amount, tells me that this is going to be some sort of numeric measurement. So the dollar amount on accounts receivable invoice, that's going to be quantitative, with an N. Numeric, quantitative. B, the net profit for a company in 2015. Net tells me that there's some sort of measurement involved because net is just the gross minus the costs. So net profit is going to be also quantitative. It's a num number. The stock exchange, well, that tells me right now that's going to be categorical or qualitative because you've got the New York Stock Exchange, you've got the Amex, you've got several others throughout the world. There's no number attached to those. So there's, those are just names. So this will be qualitative an L. Uh, D, the national debt of the United States in 2015. Debt is, a, is an amount of money, and we've already talked about amounts, indicating that it's a numeric variable or a quantitative variable. And then E, the advertising medium. And notice that they give us a list of possible values, radio, television, print. Notice those are words, not numbers. Since those are words, we know automatically the, this is a categorical variable or qualitative. Notice that connect will switch the qualitative and the quantitative in terms of which comes first, just to keep you on your toes. Be very aware of this. There are things that we can do with quantitative variables that we can't do with qualitative variables, so it behooves us to know the difference between the two. Yeah, that was a really fast example of a Friday video. As the course progresses, these Friday videos will become much more in-depth, um, mainly because there's more for me to discuss. But here, most important part about this chapter, in my humble opinion, is the difference between numeric and categorical variables. So hopefully this was helpful. Take care.